Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about Dr. Anthony Fauci. He's become a very prominent and important figure in politics recently because of what's been going on in the world today. We, of course, have been suffering through and trying to survive this terrible virus that's come in from another country in the Far East. Yes, this virus is plaguing the country, and one of the people to step up and become kind of famous because of it is Dr. Fauci. And that's because he's the head scientist and doctor that's in charge of what's going on in our government, especially in relation to violent diseases and stuff that we're dealing with now. So Fauci has become this figure, but he's also become a little political. People don't know if we can really trust him. Like he's kind of had a lot of mistakes and said conflicting things. Like obviously he's a doctor and people want to act like he's pure science and all that stuff too. And in a perfect world, he would be in But where we're at now in 2016, like things are polarized and everything's political. Moves are made behind the scenes. This guy is a figure who's been in his position for a very long time. He's worked with all kinds of acting presidents on both sides of the aisle. But it's pretty clear he was more cozy with the Clintons and the Democrats. And some of his moves recently have shown that there's some bias there to that. So we're going to talk about that. And specifically, we're going to talk about two instances where they're trying to push Fauci even more. Like, for example, he threw the first pitch out on the Major League Baseball opening day, and that turned into a big disaster. He didn't really do too well with that pitch. And we're going to get to that and check the video. But the fact of the matter is, like, they're trying to make him this celebrity, obviously. They're putting him on the mound on this Major League Baseball opening day. They're also putting him on the covers of magazines. We got a magazine story we're going to get to later where he's on the cover of In Style, which is weird. Like, it's just basically the Democrats trying to push him as their figurehead, and he's playing ball with them and getting famous in the process. It's it's pretty strange but funny to watch because he's kind of a goofy guy. So we're going to talk more about that soon. But first, let's get to today's sponsor. The radical left, celebrities, athletes, and Hollywood, they've all recently become very public when they announced their hatred and intent to defund the police. This has caused rampant violence and spikes in crime across the country, and it's really sad to see these heroes be attacked like this. To combat this situation and show our support for these protectors in blue, Brave Patriot is now doing a giveaway of their very popular and high-quality pro-police coin. For now, Brave Patriot has decided to give the coins away for free, only for you guys in the No BS audience. So, you could get this free coin now, all you have to do is pay for the shipping. But it's only guaranteed to be free while supplies last, so make sure you hurry up and click our exclusive link below. Thanks for your time, and now, back to the show. Great, now let's get to the article about Fauci throwing the first pitch. It comes from this MLB section of CBS. It says, Dr. Anthony Fauci throws out first pitch ahead of Nationals versus Yankees on MLB opening day. This is a a coverage of that. We've got a clip of the pitch, but first let's read the intro. It says, The first person to take the mound for the 2020 MLB season was not a professional baseball player, but Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, was tasked with throwing the ceremonial first pitch at Nationals Park for the Nationals game against the New York Yankees on Thursday to open the MLB season. As is the case with many first pitches, Dr. Fauci showed that throwing a baseball from the mound to the plate is a lot more difficult than people give players credit for. But even with this caveat in mind, he still missed the plate by a fair margin. So they're trying to be nice. They're trying to kind of church it up. But he actually throws the pitch really bad, like not even close. And I think that it's pretty interesting. It's pretty telling that this guy can't handle a baseball at all. I mean, I'm not saying I'm super athletic or anything like but I've I've played ball like when I was a kid. I've played all kinds of different sports. Like I could throw a baseball across the plate. You know, like it's not the hardest thing in the world. It's just like playing catch, like people throwing things. I don't know why he's so uncoordinated. I think it's just because he's some kind of super nerd. He's also really old. Like he's like 80 or something right now. So I'm not trying to be hard on him, but it is kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and check the tape and then we'll talk more about it. From those there. So what you'll see from baseball 2020, we get a real good feel for tonight. And now one of the more well-known Washington National fans, Dr. Anthony Fauci, to throw out the first pitch. Oh, 
I mean, not even close, dude. Like, so bad. Such bad form. Like, he didn't reach back at all. Like, that's the thing I noticed. He tried to, like, throw it right from his face. Like, he started at his face. And it's just like, what were you thinking, dude? Like, and then the other thing I'm wondering, like, is if this guy is supposed to be in charge of our health, like, how come, you know, he's not very healthy, like, he's not very coordinated, and I, I'm sure he's not, like, a surgeon. I know he's a doctor of infectious diseases. I'm sure he's great in that field. But, man, he really duffed this one up, like, not even close. I guess some might even say he social distanced that ball from the plate, you know, like a little jab in there, a little joke in there. But, really, it's very, very interesting. He's wearing a mask, too, which is just another thing. And we've talked about this baseball stuff before. Like we talked about the kneeling and stuff in other videos and other things. Like I was wondering whether baseball was going to get totally woke. And they obviously did. I mean, this is just the sign of it altogether. I mean, we're talking about kneeling. We're talking about them having BLM signs on the mounds, on the camera, on all the shots of the airing of the game. And then they're bringing in Anthony Fauci, who's like the figurehead of this like pro mask, pro like leftist movement. It's just really a total sign that MLB is really kind of desperate to cave in and be one of the cool sports too. And it sucks. It sucks. And it's just funny coming from Fauci. Like this guy is just so funny. And the fact that they're trying to make him famous is really weird too. Fauci, like all other medical experts has been advocating for months for Americans to practice social distancing when leaving the home, basically maintaining a space of six feet away from others at all times when possible. It's always heartening to see someone who preaches such advice follow it, even if it is with his pitch location. The doctor has served. That's the joke I made, by the way. That's the joke I made. The doctor has served as the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases since 1984. Well, that's fitting because he's trying to make this world like 1984. He is a Nationals fan solely by proximity as he grew up in Brooklyn and idolized the Yankees like Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle while growing up. So he has little mixed loyalties. And I think it just goes to show like the way he's a fan of a certain team is the same kind of way that he's going to be the fan of certain politicians and certain people on the side in the world today. And it just can't come out. It can't help but come out in this day and age, like with these doctors, with these experts. And this is also worth noting at this point, like he's been in charge of this institute for so many years. That's another reason why he's still there. Like he just has this long tenure, like he's going to be there as long as he wants at this point. And no one can really get rid of him or fire him. Like people suggested that Trump replace him or something, but that would just be really big backlash for him. That would be a really big problem because he is doing his job at some points. Like he's making a lot of mistakes though. And he's also having sorts of political decisions in the way he pushes distancing and mass and stuff. Like it's becoming a bit of a political thing. But yeah, it's just, you can't remove a guy like this. He's been there for so many administrations. Trump would get mad backlash if he tried to make that move. So we just kind of have to deal with it. And we also get to see this funny stuff of them trying to make him this like weird celebrity, which is just the beginning, by the way. This is just the beginning of the video. So the next thing I want to show you is that at the same game, here is an article where he's not wearing his mask. And he's not social distancing. So it's apparently not that important. I don't know who these people are next to him. I'm not sure if they're strangers or friends. Like, I hope he knows that they don't have any diseases or something. I mean, I don't know if they've been tested, but it is a very hypocritical moment. And he's just like smiling there, sitting next to him. And then this also is funny because he's watching the game and no other fans are allowed to watch. They're not letting any fans into the games. But these liberals, they think they're special. They really don't follow what they preach. They don't practice what they preach. They they follow the motto of do as I say, not as I do. You know, and that's basically personified in this picture so much. And I have to say also this guy, he kind of looks like the Mad TV guy, like that logo from Mad Magazine, like the guy with the ears, like he looks like that right now, right? But yeah, the bigger point is he does this. He's watching the game when they're not letting in any fans. He tells people to wear a mask and he's not wearing a mask. And then he also is not social distancing. So that's just a funny little anecdote. But the next part is even worse. This is him on In Style magazine. I just found this rather funny. Like they put him on this cover of this magazine, trying to make him look like stylish and cool. He's got these like fancy socks and shoes on. And it says In Style Digital Cover Profiles, Dr. Anthony Fauci. So this is really funny because it's like, why is he here? Like it's the same thing with the baseball pitch and all this stuff. Like they're just trying to make him this celebrity 
And it's funny that he's on like a style magazine. Like this is the same magazine who has yet to have Melania Trump on, by the way. Like they're supposed to be about style and grace and looking good or whatever it may be. And they don't have the first lady on. They have this doctor guy like who's obviously along with all this liberal stuff. Like this proves that he's biased, by the way. I mean, this proves that they're trying to push this guy and make him look cool and put him above people like Trump, who are the ones that are really trying to help. Dr. Anthony Fauci is featured on a special digital cover of InStyle magazine. The director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases was interviewed for Meredith's fashion magazine In Style by CBS Evening News. Anchor Nora O'Donnell, who knows Fauci and his family, on the cover Fauci is donning dark sunglasses and a button-down shirt, perched on a chair with legs crossed beside his pool. Fauci was photographed on June 6 in his backyard in Washington, D.C. by Frankie Alduini. So that about wraps it up. I mean, it's just a funny Fauci story. We know that he has bias. We know that the liberals love him, and that's why he's getting propped up like this, and they're just trying to purport this whole idea that he's genius, he's infallible, he's perfect, and everyone should listen to him and not listen to Trump. And it's just got this weird political edge to it. And it's just funny because he's just like a goofy, like I said, like kind of a nerdy guy. He couldn't even pull off this pitch like at all, like not even close. And then, you know, he sits and watches the game and he's not wearing his mask. He's not social distancing. It's just a really bad look and a really good idea and proof that there's really some biasness going on here. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. What do you think about Fauci? What do you think about this MLB thing, them getting political and woke? What do you think about the first pitch? Also his InStyle magazine cover, and then the fact that he doesn't practice what he preaches. I want to know if you guys think he's political too, and do you think they're trying to make him out to be this hero and stuff? So tell me what you think in the comments. Also, hit the like button to get this video shared. Check out our second channel for more videos and more streams and fun stuff like that. And until next time, have a great day.